Altered Carbon Season 2 was incredible. In this video, we're going to dive into the very final scene of Season 2, so please close out if you don't want to know some major spoilers. The final scene was wild. We learned that Poe is storing a raw human DHF. So who is it? It's not Miss Elizabeth. Here's why. Aren't you going to introduce us? Huh. Poe would have introduced Miss Dig to Miss Elizabeth in this scene, but he couldn't because all she was was a hollow recording. Parting message from a very dear friend before Mr. Kovach and I cast off from Bay City. The human in this DHF has got to be Takashi Kovach. The biggest clue to this is the final line of the show. Better get the good whiskey ready. First off, that line is a clear nod to Poe's drinking buddy, Kovach. Poe. To get me killed. But the clue is actually deeper than that. So that was the final line in the final scene of the season, right? Let's go back to the very first scene of the season. Aside from Tox's voiceover, this is a ghost story. And aside from female Tox singing, the very first line of actual dialogue in the entire season was Poe saying this. My apologies if your drink disappoints. So the first line of dialogue is in direct contrast to the very last line of dialogue in the entire season. That has to be intentional, which means these two scenes are linked. And in this one, Kovach is the mystery character. He's hidden within the singer. So it would make sense for Kovach to be the mystery character in the final scene as well. The human within the virtual stack that we see right here. So how did Poe do it? Poe spent the last 30 years with Takashi Kovach. He's my compatriot. My friend. At the beginning of season two, Poe was breaking down. Poe was dying. His short-term memory was decaying, which is why he used the sticky notes. Kovach wanted Poe to reboot. You need to reboot. But Poe was afraid to reboot because he didn't want to lose his memories of Miss Elizabeth, at least the few memories that they had shared together. But that is a misdirect. Because as we already said, Poe didn't have many memories with Miss Elizabeth. On the other hand, Poe did have a lot of memories with Kovach. 30 years of memories. Think about that. If Poe had taken Tox's advice, if Poe had rebooted, Poe would have lost it all. All my recollections of you and our wild goose chase across the stars. So Poe refused to do the reboot, but his decaying short-term memory issue... It began to endanger Kovach. You're putting us both at risk. Later in that episode, Kovach got pretty mean at one point saying, screw whatever you're trying to hold on to in that nano dust brain of yours. Now either you reboot or you find someone else to follow like a lost dog. Do you think you can remember that? Those words would be hard to forget. Wow, pretty rough. But you can't really blame Kovach. Poe was putting them in danger time and time again. First, by not telling Tok that he had inserted biotracking. And then, Poe gave away their hideout to a bounty hunter who they were not yet friends with. Next time you want to drop by for a little chat, you should probably remember to close the connection. This mistake was the final straw because this time, Poe endangered not only Kovach, but also Kel. I'll no longer be in need of your services. Oh, I didn't mean to. It was not you. It was me. Here's another nice little Easter egg of a line, a line that takes on new meaning at the end of the season. Together, we have a better chance of preserving your human. Miss Dig was awesome. Miss Dig helped a lot. First off, she stopped Poe from rebooting because but you could lose everything, your entire history. Second, Miss Dig built the database to preserve your memories. She was able to build that database because Miss Dig was an archivist. That's what she was made for, extracting and preserving things. And some things, some people, are worth preserving. So, in summary, Kovach was Poe's friend. He was my only friend. And Poe knew Kovach very well since they had spent the last 30 years together. Sounds like you know a lot about him. Oh, I consider myself somewhat of an authority on the subject. So just like Tak always carried around a piece of Kel inside him. Is it so hard to believe that he carries a piece of you with him? And just like Kel now carries around a piece of Tak inside her. You're in my mind. There's nowhere you can go that I won't be with you. Poe, as an AI, 
he carries around 30 years of Kovach within him. He was at risk of losing the near-term stuff because his short-term memory had been crap lately. But all the way back in episode two, Poe installed a new external data retrieval system I installed to remedy my uh, uh, short-term memory loss. And on top of that, Poe performed a detailed scan of your sleeve as requested. In other words, Poe was aware of his short-term memory issues, so he created a workaround and he backed up everything, everything that even happened within this season. So Poe stored the data and Miss Dig helped to preserve it. She wrote a program designed to extract and preserve data. Throughout the season, Poe kept taking sticky notes until his final moments, literally his final moment. And Miss Dig's data extraction and preservation program it was able to back up all of those sticky notes, as well as Poe and Kovach's 30 years together. Second chances are earned in the choices we make. I call down fire. I manipulate the alloy you seed in your bodies and rupture your veins from within. I've been killed before. It didn't take. From the ashes of defeat rises the phoenix of victory, Mr. Kovach. 